the story behind the Miracle Morning for Couples. I discuss this and so much more with my very special guests, Hal Elrod, Lance, and Brandy Salazar, the authors of The Miracle Morning for Couples. I am so excited. This is Karen Glasser. I am your live stream host. And every week I say the same thing. I'm excited because I really am. Every week I have the most amazing guests. And today is no exception. The Super Boomer Lifestyle Show is for super boomers. No duh. And it is how to enhance your life to live happier, to live healthier, and to live in a community where you get exactly what you need and you want. And today's show is a perfect example of how you can do just that. But a little housekeeping first. If you are here live, we're thrilled that you're here live. Make sure you comment below. Let you know. Let, let us know that you're here and we'll put your comments up on the screen. If you are here on replay, we're just as thrilled because you're gonna be able to watch the show, as I like to say ad nauseum over and over and over again, in the future. But if you do put a comment in there, let me know you're on replay and I'll come in and I'll make sure to comment right back to you. Hey, Joey. I'm going to put you up on the screen for a second. We have a, a guest already here. Good to see you, Joey. All right. So today we're going to be tackling the story behind the Miracle Morning for Couples. We have the three of the authors on today. We have Hal Elrod on. He's the author of the highest, one of the highest rated books in the world, The Miracle Morning, which has been translated into 27 languages and is practiced daily by over 500,000 people in more than 70 countries. How I'm exhausted just saying that, but more power to you. And then we have Lance and Brandy Salazar, and they are on a mission to help couples reconnect with each other and to stay deeply in love while raising their daughters. And they took the best and most effective tools used by successful businesses and health coaches and applied those concepts to the marriages. And together they created the Miracle Morning for Couples. And so without further ado, I'm gonna bring everybody into the show and here they are. Hey guys, how you doing today? Hi, Karen. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Karen. Well, Karen, it's I, good to be back. I am so happy to have you back, Hal. You know that I'm a huge fan. Um, and and we're here to talk about this new book that just came out. It's a number one bestseller already. I mean, it's been out for one week, number one bestseller. We're going to talk about that. How exciting is that? But the first question I want to ask is, what is a super boomer? Now, I talk about super boomers as being fearless. Super boomers are not afraid to step into whatever their next is. They're fearless and they're not defined by age. And we were talking before the show that you guys are technically not super boomers. But hey, I, I'm going to ask you anyways, if you were a super <laughs> boomer, <laughs> what, what might you define a super boomer as? How? why don't you go first? Um, well, first of all, uh, Karen, if you are what a super boomer is, I want to be a super boomer. I think that's <laughs> that's that's an easy one. Um, no, I love I love your definition. I love the 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 not being defined by age. You know, we have in the Miracle Morning community the Facebook group um, that that uh, that the Miracle Morning practitioners kind of collect uh, and and coordinate. Or I'm I'm at a loss for words today. Um, that they support each other in. Uh, that's a question that we often see. I recently saw a, a woman. She said, "I'm," and I think I think she was only in her, you know, she was like 56, maybe 62. She said, "I'm, you know, I'm this age, and I feel like in my kid, my 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 friends and my family, they're 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 saying you're what you know you're you're just trying to start over with this miracle morning routine. Like, aren't you? You're you're too old for that kind of thing." And she goes, "Am I too old?" And she had hundreds of comments of people saying girl i'm 72 and i just started the miracle morning i've been doing it for three months and it's changed my life and you know so again i wouldn't redefine what you the way you define it which is just uh for all of us no matter what our there's just no excuses right it's a no excuses right. lifestyle you know and to me that's it doesn't matter the, there is no thing as such thing as too young there is no such thing as too old um and i think that for us to decide what we want in our life for ourselves and, and then just to decide that no matter who we are or where we are, um, we all have the same unlimited potential and ability to manifest and create everything that we want for our lives. Absolutely. I wish I had said that. That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I want to bring on, uh, we've got, we've got Brandy and Lance here. Don't they, aren't they adorable? Look, they, they sit <laughs> together. They they wrote the book together. They we have beautiful. Here, Mike. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about what you think a super boomer is. 
Um, I would say a super boomer is no limitations. And um, it makes me think about when I started business, um, I was in my early 20s and I was surrounded in, in commercial development with a lot of men and a lot of older men. Yeah. And people asked me for years, how hard was that? And the reality is, is it wasn't hard at all because I just never take took note of it. It was just, right. it just, right. <laughs> you, you, you know, you have to, um, if you don't give it any, any power, it has no power. And so for me, it just was what it was. And, right. um, you know, another thing that I think of is, um, two really great, um, relationships in my life are my daughters and some older mentor friends that I've had for many years. Right. And really they both add the same value and same growth and, and love to my life. And so there really is, age has no number. I agree. Age is an attitude, right, Lance? Right. It's an attitude. Absolutely. You know, Karen, I, I kind of, I would consider myself a super boomer. I mean, uh, especially when I think about my own personal growth journey, which really started with the Miracle Morning. I was in my 40s and had a very fixed mindset, thought that I'd learned everything I needed to learn in life, you know, and just going to be on cruise control. But, you know, since developing that personal growth journey in my 40s, I'm now happier, more joyful, and more excited for the next day than I ever was in my 20s and 30s. So to me, that's what a super boomer is. It's continuous learning, continuous growth, and developing new joy, no matter what age you are. I think we need to make you all honorary super boomers then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I we, accept. <laughs> we accept. <laughs> so I mentioned at the beginning of the show that I wake up at a god-awful hour. I get up at 3.30 in the morning. I do. And and no matter how much I try to go back to sleep, I don't. And so I started my routine a long time ago with Hal's book, The, the, the Miracle Morning. I literally started my routine because I could. I was getting up and, and what else are you going to do at 3.30 in the morning besides wonder what you're doing up at 3.30 in the morning. And so I started The Miracle Morning and wow, it was a game changer to me. So, you know, I, I want to kind of like throw this now back out to you guys. So now there's a whole series of books called The Miracle Morning for this and that and, and you know, keeps them going. And this is for couples. So what sets this apart right off the bat, other than what the obvious is, it's for couples. What would you say is, is the obvious thing that sets this book apart from all the rest of the books? I'll start with the answer. Um, the, you know, one thing I get asked a lot by whether I'm being interviewed or people joining our community is they'll say, you know, well, well, what's the difference between the miracle morning and the miracle morning for entrepreneurs or for couples or, you know, and right. which one should I start with? Right? right. What makes the, you know, is this just a rehash of the original book, but you put the word couples in instead of like <laughs> you, right? <laughs> um, you and your significant other. And, and the answer is no. And, and the right. way, and I'll tell you, you know, from a kind of behind the scenes standpoint, that was a real challenge in the beginning of developing the series is how do I make this so that if you've read the original Miracle Morning, uh, this is different enough that you're going to get a ton of new value. Right. But how do I incorporate enough of the Miracle Morning that if you have never read the original, you get enough to actually start doing the Miracle Morning, right? So it was a real like real art, not, not a science, you know, mm -hmm. and and here the, what we the, the kind of the formula that we decided on is um, I partner with someone or two, you know, someones who are an, oh yeah, there you go. You know, I don't need to hold it up. You got it on the screen. Um, but I partner with someone who's an expert in the field, in the niche that we're going into, right? So, um, you know, if it's entrepreneurs, I partnered with Cameron Harold, who is a, you know, world-class entrepreneur and trainer of, of entrepreneurs, that sort of thing. And the first roughly, um, 20% of the book, 20 to 30% of the book is basically the entire Miracle Morning concept. The, basically, it's the original book summarized in the first three chapters, but also customized for couples. So it's so, you know, so it's essentially if you've if you've read the original book, it's a refresher like, oh, yeah, oh, this is good. But you also are learning all the things you learned in the original book, but how right. to adapt it to a relationship. And you're going, oh, OK, that's a great. I never thought of it that way. That's great. Um, and then the next 70 percent of the book is Brandy and Lance. And uh, I mean, and they literally wrote the majority of the book. And this is so I partner with an expert in an area. Well, Brandy and Lance are personal friends of mine, and they're one of the most evolved, enlightened couples that I've ever met. 
And I'll let you tell you their story of how they got there. They went, you know, how their mess to success story, and they've got one of those. <laughs> I but, love um, that. <laughs> That's so good. Huh? I have to put that. I'm going to put that on the screen while you're talking. Mess to success. There you go. Um, right. But uh, but but yeah, that's the idea. Is that this isn't just a how to wake up early as a couple. That's the first three chapters, the first 30% of the book. And the next 70% of the book is how to create a legendary relationship with your significant other. Whether you are married, you are dating, or you, you know, you're looking for a relationship. You don't have one now, but you want to you wanna be as knowledgeable on how to create a thriving, successful, harmonious, loving relationship. Right. That's what this book will do for you. So. And having read it two times, I get it. And I let's. I'm going to throw it over to Lance and Brandy. Let's tell. Let's tell your story. How did this all come about? How did you guys? And I know the story, so I want you to share it though with with the audience. What's the story? Well, there's two parts to it, really. You know, there's the part that you read about in the book about the near demise of our own relationship. And what's beautiful about writing this book with Hal is that a lot of our story of the mess to success begins with. The miracle morning, especially for me, you know, I was watching Brandy engage in Hal's content and meeting Hal and, and she was doing this morning routine and we weren't connected. And, you know, the short of it was that in a lot of ways I was depressed and I didn't like our, how our marriage was going and I, I needed to start personal growth. And so I started doing the miracle morning and that became a catalyst to me growing into the person that I wanted to be. And to kind of fast forward a bit, you know, as Brandy and I started to rekindle our relationship and our marriage, we decided that there was value in us doing parts of the Miracle Morning together. And as we started doing things like we practiced with meditation together, little mm -hmm. th things that were actually part of the savers. But then we while started holding hands while holding hands. And so we're like, well, this is really important that we're touching each other, that we have this piece of touch or and then we would talk about things we were reading and we're like oh that that's you know educational we're teaching each other and and also part of our journey back to each other had to do with gratitude you know making sure we were expressing gratitude with each other every single day and so there's an appreciation component and then we always wanted to make sure we were either checking in with our relationship or that we were just on each yeah, we, we knew how each other's day was going to be, you know, because partnership is really important in a relationship. Who's doing what? Where are the kids going? And all of that sort of stuff. So the schedule. And so we noticed that there was this component that we were doing together that was, you know, we had the savers separately. It was different. Right. Yeah. And then the together. So at the centerpiece of this book in our story is the miracle morning. And so it became so vital, you know, to do pizza of it together. And I, I know that you guys, um, you asked yourself three questions. You asked yourself, what would an amazing marriage look like for us? You asked yourself, what steps do we have to take to make this vision a reality? And finally, what steps are we committed to make? And and the book came came to be because of that. What I really love about the book, so the SAVERS, and we can talk about the SAVERS quickly, that it's an acronym for the different things that you do. But we, on top of that, and this is what was fascinating to me, and this is what sold me, is you have the TEAM method. And so I, I would like to chat about the TEAM method because it was, it was that specifically that, and you said that you do meditation together. I, we started doing yoga. My husband and I started doing yoga together as part of the exercise piece of this. Um, you know, the savers. And so I, you know, and I'm putting and for guys, if you want to do yoga, you should go check out the Super Boomer Lifestyle show, uh, superboomerlifestyle.com. We have an amazing yoga mat. But the, but the idea behind this is that you had questions that you wanted to answer in order to move forward. So let's talk a little bit about that. How does team work? So it's T-E-A-M, the acronym, very similar to the savers. And um, T is for touch where and it's it can be really simple where for us like we said we had started by just putting our um holding hands or i would put my hand on his leg and the interesting thing for us with a lot of this is we would look back and say what were some of the struggles that we had in our relationship and we would go many days without touching in the beginning and then you know to be honest weeks and it, it went on for a long time where we would barely even touch each other. And so 
Um, when we brought that back in, we realized how important it was for it to be something that was consistent, that created a, a compound effect of intimacy for us. And um, the second is appreciation. No, E, education. <laughs> e, education. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. E is education. So in our Miracle Morning, we either um, read or sometimes we'll watch a YouTube video or a course to a podcast. Yep, while we're working out. So we'll, we combine those a lot of times. And so once we come together, we'll share and educate each other. But the other thing that we talk about in the book is in the phase where you're getting to know each other again, or getting to know each other even deeper, okay. it's, it's a nice time to be able to share things about yourself and get to know each other. Um, what's the A? A. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling you guys are a great team. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Spelling. So yeah, A is appreciation. And the interesting thing about appreciation is we realized this one early on that there was a lot of finger pointing in our relationship. And so okay. we started this actually as a nighttime practice um, originally. And so before we went to bed at night, we would do this and then the next one um, where we would say, this is what I appreciate about you today. And that's simple. It's just the last 24 hours is something that you appreciate about each other. Gratitude. And then, gratitude. yeah, gratitude. gratitude, right. You know, and go I, ahead. Well, I was just going to say, it's so important that I think a lot of couples get stuck in, you know, if there, there's some resentment or there, there's negative activity or challenges going on to get your mind or your perspective around the gratitude you have and the appreciation you have for your partner makes solving those differences so much easier, at least because you approach them with kindness, you approach them with grace, and you don't approach them with that sort of negative sort of, ah, they're irritating me right now. Well, wait a second. No, I can feel into the pre appreciation of them. And suddenly those challenges are resolved much more easily. And you're all on the same page and you've made deposits into the emotional bank account. Right. right. I love that deposits. Right. And yeah. And it's interesting because if I think back when our relationship was at its worst, every day I could have found something that I appreciated. Mm. Truly, like it, if I just would have, have taken the time to say, hey, what did Lance do today that added value to our family or right. added value, right? Every single day, even in the bad times, I could have found something. I just didn't have it as a practice. Um, and so the last one is M, meeting. And this, again, was one of the first things that we incorporated when we were um, saving our marriage. And it was checking in with each other and just saying, okay, hey, how did I do? We made these commitments to each other. We've decided that, you know, we're moving forward with this. How did I do? How did it feel? Should we tweak it? Did it work? Did it not work? And so we weren't wasting our time on these things where it was like, let's implement this thing. And then he's like, oh, I actually, that didn't work. <laughs> or vice versa, right? Or, hey, not only did that work, um, but what if we added this? And so it gave us a consistent check-in to be able to, to uh, quickly tweak, you give that example of like the missile, you know? Oh yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know how accurate this description really is, but I read or heard somewhere that, you know, when a, when a rocket is launched 90 something percent of the time, it's off of its course. It's not oh. on target. So it makes these constant little corrections throughout its course in order for it to be where it needs to go. Yeah. So. Right. And I, I think about that in anything, you know, when, when if we don't check in and say, hey, how's this going? And we keep doing the wrong things. We don't get the same sort of compound effect and momentum that we would if we would just stop and say, hey, how's this going? And should we tweak it just a little bit to actually be moving more in the right direction than kind of in the right direction or quite frankly, in the complete wrong direction? And so th the meeting part first started as that when we moved it to the morning because that just became the time we really dedicated to each other. Um, we added in checking on our day and saying, hey, what's going on today? Where are you going? Where am I going? This is something that we need to make sure gets added to the day or you know, we right. messed up. <laughs> One big component of our philosophy is is partnership. And that has a lot to do with just making sure the X's, you know, the, the T's are crossed, the I's are dotted, you know, the box are checked, the boxes are checked. 
Uh, and so meeting can also evolve into that, you know, hey, I've got this appointment today. Okay, cool. I've got the kids there. And so it allows us to be on the same page throughout the course of the day. So that there aren't these surprises like, oh, I forgot to tell you about that. Oh, you know, my bad. Right. So. Which this was the part for us that, you know, now we call it the partnership loop. But this is where we got stuck was it was all these little nitpicky things right. that could be easily resolved with clear communication, consistent communication. And we just we weren't doing it for many years and it caused a lot of problems for us. I, I'm sure that people that are listening right now, whether they're live or on replay, they're wondering, OK, I got to get this book. I'm, I'm putting a link in the description and in the comments below, as well as uh, in the description above. Um, where people can go pick up the book because it is a game changer. It is absolutely a game changer. I'm just curious, how did you guys all meet? How did, how did you meet uh, Lance and Brandy? How did that all come about? How did yeah. we meet or how did we meet Hal? How did you meet Hal? <laughs> Yeah, okay. how did we all three meet and get married together, and no, <laughs> um, no, four. Ursula's married to us too. Yeah, that's right. We have we have a we have a fourth wife or the, another wife that's not here. Um, but no, uh, we were and Brandy, cor correct me if I'm wrong. You have a better memory than I do, and you have a better memory on this. But I believe it is. Um, uh, I was speaking at the One Life Fully Lived event. Right? Was that the first yes. time that we met? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Brandy was enamored with me. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> But uh, no, but we met at that event. Totally and, understandable, uh, Hal. Yeah, totally and then good, Hal. I, uh, I invited uh, her to uh, to attend my live event that I was putting on. It's called Best Year Ever Blueprint. And she was not able to make it. And so she sent Lance and um, oh. kicking and screaming. No, but but it wasn't it wasn't his thing. Like he, he wasn't someone that right. went to, you know, personal development events. This was like really kind of outside his comfort zone. And uh, I'll just tell you my my side of the story of kind of how it, what was really amazing is um he uh recorded a testimonial video for for you know for for us which i saw afterwards um and it was my favorite of any testimonial video and to kind of summarize and i'd love to hear lance's side of the story because it's better but um but to summarize he essentially said um you know that i came to this event uh and i'm not just leaving with you know how to have a better business but i'm i feel like i'm a, going home a better father and a better husband and a better human, you know, and it was just, yeah, it was very touching. I mean, it was like, it was the best testimonial, the best, uh, you know, and it was from the heart and uh, it was really neat to see, you know, and I didn't know then, right, how he came to the event, you know, kind of a little closed off and, and uh, so on and so forth. But yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' version of, uh, of how we met and, and how we all connected. Yeah, no, I think you kind of summed it up right there, Hal. I mean, in my view of it all was how opened my eyes and my heart became by going, that was your very first event. And it was absolutely magnificent. I'd never been to a personal growth event like that before. And I remember being, and I knew nobody, not a single person there. Uh, but, you know, me trying to grow into the person that I wanted to become required me to get really uncomfortable. And you guys, you know, really did a great job making us, especially people like me at the time, very uncomfortable with shaking hands, meeting new people, telling, you know, each other, you know, about ourselves and in a controlled, comforting environment. Yeah, very yeah. much so. It was very controlled. It was, it, yeah. I mean, and, I look back on that with great memories. It's so wonderful. And I'm sure how would be the first person to say that not all personal development events are created equal. Amen. So, you know, and so fortunately, you went to one of the best because yes. you, you had a positive experience. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there that, that call themselves personal development gurus and they, they preach a bunch of stuff. So I know it's what a great opportunity that you had a chance to merge and to meet. And out of that comes this amazing, amazing book. Um, you know, for those of you who want to get to uh, connect with Hal a little bit more, you can go to halelrod.com. That is his website. And you can also check out the Facebook uh, page, the, the Miracle Morning. I know the group has how many people in it right now, Hal? I mean, it's like thousands. 100 and, 195,000. But what's really great about Over 100 countries, yeah. And, and Hal is in there. That's what's so great about this. Hal is mm -hmm. in there. Honore is in there. You guys comment and you, and you respond to the people that are in there. So this is, even though there's a, ton of people in there you never feel like you get lost in the mix so kudos to you for doing that and then i want to also send you to um legendarycouples.com that is lance and brandy's website because they started as something before that and i we're gonna i want to have you explain that you downsized you went you you literally gave up all that you knew and you went to a new environment we you downsized right you went to a tiny house 
or a little bit larger than a tiny we house. Call it, we call it a tiny house. <laughs> it was tiny for us, you know, I mean, and it, and it, it's a beautiful thing, and it was a. It's been a great adventure. It still is a so great. Adventure. One of the best choices we ever made. Yeah. And I know you homeschool your 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 daughters, and mm -hmm. and you you basically turned your life around. Um, you you showed up vulnerable. I want to thank you for being so vulnerable in your description as to how this all came down. That's that's tough, but I think that when we are vulnerable, we attract an audience that says, "Hmm, I want what they're having." Right? They can mm -hmm. also join your Facebook group at Legendary couples they can uh, check that out as well and they can get involved in that um what what last thoughts would you like our audience to know about this book and how they can get involved in doing the miracle morning for couples uh yeah i guess i'll, I'll start and let you guys finish uh i said we save the best for last so uh, you know i i think that this book what i would want people to know is that um uh, you know, I, I just I've learned in my relationship with my wife, you know, we've been together for 14 years or 50. I, don't tell her. I don't exactly know, but it's like 14 or 15 ish um, and uh, married for nine or nine ish. Um, but anyway, so the uh, now that I dug myself a hole, I'll try to get out of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the but what I've what I've learned is like our relationship right now is by far the best it's ever been. And I would have said that, you know, six months ago, and I would have said that a year ago, and I would have said like it just keeps getting better. And we've mm. gone through, we've had peaks and valleys. We've had, you know, we've had we've had our screaming matches, I'm sure you know we've all have. Um, but what I've realized is that like I didn't know until I connected with Brandy and Lance until I learned the way they approach their relationship, um, the the level of connection that's available. And I'm still discovering, like, it's like I keep, I keep getting to know new layers of my wife and Ursula and um, getting to know, you know, new, new levels of connection and new levels of love and new levels of vulnerability. And like, it's amazing. And the more you start to see what's possible, the more you realize that there is still possible. And so I think that book will do this for you. So whether you're in a relationship that is already great, or you're in one that is, you know, on the brink of divorce, as Brandy and Lance were a few years ago, um, I think this book really is universal for anybody that, uh, that wants to have a happy, loving, harmonious connection with their partner. I love it. So this is something new for you too. Is this one of your favorites? Or are you not allowed to say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ahead, uh, they're all yeah. they're all my children they're all my favorites but, um no uh yeah this is uh this is definitely one of my favorites for sure i i love that um lance brandy your thoughts yeah you know i think i like what hal said about no matter what stage your relationship is in that there's a lot of value to be obtained from this book. I mean, we were actually really, really, really proud of it. I thought for a moment after we were done writing, I was like, Oh, I don't want to even see this again, but going back through it, I mean, it, it's like, wow, you know, this is, this is really important. And what I love about the book is that it really takes a very logical and step-by-step -step sort of manner. You know, the how, you know, a lot of people will say, well, you need to be a great communicator in your relationship. Great. How? how do I do that? Right. You know, I mean, it, there's practices in there. Okay, great. I, you know, it, it, so that's what is, I think, really beautiful about the book is it's literally, okay, if you want to do this, design this, do this. You know, that's what we've loved about the savers, you know, in the miracle right. morning. It's like, do we these that model. things. Yeah. You know? I mean, we give the freedom. We want the freedom for couples to design and envision and take action and make a plan right. on what they want and what they desire. Mm -hmm. But the steps in here are beautiful because they allow you to just insert your vision and take those actions to, and, to get right, where you want to go. Insert your steps. We give you steps. The other thing that I would add is that this is genuinely the book that I wish we had when we first started or that I wish we had when it got bad because at either point, the steps are the same, the same, right? It, you have to create a, it's like anything. It's like when we finally figured this out and had this major aha moment, it was like, okay, Brandy, like, what did you do to be so successful in business? Well, I created a business plan and I committed to the steps and I made them happen. And when it didn't work, I changed it. And then when again, and it was it, right. It's just, it's so simple. And exactly. so you need to do that regardless of where you are in your relationship. Bad, good, just starting, 
you know, wanting to fix it, whatever it may be, it's, it's applicable to every stage of a relationship. If it's not something that you've done. And most of us haven't applied. We hadn't. We, we, we applied once we figured it out, we applied these principles to go from mess to success as house that I love that. So good. But we still do them today. Today, yes. You know, I mean, we're constantly moving forward. That's what's important about our marriage together is that it's constantly moving forward. And so everything you read in that book is what we still do now and we will continue to do. It's sort of like a roadmap. I look at I look at this book as a roadmap yeah. of what to do, um, and, and it's not a, it's not so structured that you have to do A first and then B first and then no. C first. It's not that kind of structure, but it definitely has a framework from which you can create this extraordinary relationship in life. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you guys. I know that you're incredibly busy. You have a number one book out there right now. You're out there promoting. Thank you for coming on the show today and to sharing your love and the story behind the Miracle Morning for Couples. I'm going to drop you into the green room so I can have my super boomer moment with the with the crowd. And again, thank you so, so, so much. Very, very appreciative. Thank you, Thanks Karen. for having us. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. And so it's now time Oops, I'm going to put you back out, Hal. Sorry about that. Did not mean to bring you back in. <laughs> I'm, this is time for the super boomer moment. This is where I share with you something that just struck a chord during this whole interview. And, you know, I said in the beginning that I've been doing the Miracle Morning forever, and it's part of my morning ritual. And I was, I'm very excited to bring my husband into this as we started to do this. And what I really love about the book is the team method. I mean, all by itself, it is phenomenal. I mean, you could just take that team method and just do that. And you would have um, really an incredible, incredible journey of your new of your relationship going forward. But you take that team method and you layer it on top of savers. And then you've got game changer, because when you put the two of them together, you exact you know what your roadmap is. You know exactly what you're supposed to do. And I am forever grateful that I discovered this. And I that's why I'm shouting it from the rooftops. It's why I, the minute this book came out, I literally contacted Hal. He knows that. And I said, I got to get you back on the show. I want you guys to come on and talk about this, because this is definitely a game changer. So guys, I want to thank you for joining us today. We know that you have a choice as to how you spend your time. You're very, very busy. We all are. And you chose to spend it with us today. We will be eternally grateful for that. Go out and share this with a friend. And we'll see you next week on the next episode of the Super Boomer Lifestyle Show. Goodbye, everyone.